Hello, this is Joe Neville and welcome to Aruba Central API Express, the video series where I look at queries about Aruba Central API. Let's have a look at the question and it is, how do I use Postman with Aruba Central API? Now we hear this one quite a bit and for those that don't know, Postman is an API graphical user interface client. It's really powerful, but it's also useful for beginners. It's not specifically built as a learning tool. There's a whole raft of functionality within Postman, but it is useful for some beginners to get to grips with the API. And the best way to answer this is of course, with a demo. The first step is to install the Postman client. You can get that by searching on Get Postman as I have done here. Then click on this Download Postman link and then download the app. Once you've installed the app, launched it and signed in, you should see a launch pad like this. Now, as you can see, there's lots of functionality on screen because there is a lot you can do with Postman. But what we're going to do for this short video is just show you how to send simple calls to the Aruba Central API. The best way to do that is start up here top left, hit new, and in here you can create individual calls, so the basic request, or you can create a collection to put in multiple calls. That's what I'm going to do. I think it's good to create some structure for your calls from the very start. So let's hit collection. I'm going to call that my central test, create, minimize this. We don't need that for now. And if you right click here, you can add in a request. A request is an API call. Now I know what calls I want to make already. I'm going to make one for networks, save, and I'm going to make another one. So add request for my APs, save there. If we look at that, that networks, what you have on screen is you have the different HTTP verbs that you can use. We're just going to use a get call here. And this is where we would put the URL. So we need to get those details. Also, of course, we're going to need something for our authorization. We're going to need an access token. That means the next step is to jump over to Aruba Central API gateway to get the URLs that we require, get an access token, bring them across to Postman, then we can hit the big blue send button. And here I am on Aruba Central, top right, hit the grid, API gateway, bottom left. To generate an access token then, go to system apps and tokens, hit add apps and tokens, give it a name, network operations, generate. Then you can download token and copy that to memory. Back on the API gateway, let's go to APIs and then launch Swagger. Here's where we're going to get the URLs. And I said I was going to use Postman to query for networks. And would you believe it? That's the default one that appears. So we've got list all networks here. What I do to grab the URL is I can paste my token in the box, apply that, and then do a try against networks. That will give me the request URL at the top here. Back on Postman, what I do is I enter the request URL here to save that and then for the APs it is rather than networks it's just APs at the end there so I'm going to save that now we've got the URL of course I also need the access token for that, I jump back to Swagger, copy the token, come back to Postman. I do have the choice here. So against each one of the requests, you have this authorization. And what you can do, if you want to put the token against the individual call in this box, save it and send. The better thing to do though, is to go to the top one here, which is inherent or from parent. If we select that, we can go up to our collection here, edit that, and that itself has an authorization box. We can go bear a token there, paste my token in, update, and then as long as your calls have an authorization of inherent or authorization from parent, which both of mine now do, each one of the calls that you put into the collection will take the token from the parent folder. Nice little time saver there. So let's go for that then. Let's make this get call against networks. I'll hit send. There's our successful response at the bottom there. I'll pull this up. So you can see I've got a couple of SSIDs. If I go over to the APs, I can hit send there as well. And there you can see my APs are listed. That's a simple couple of calls. And what you can do is you can carry on copying across the different API calls that you're interested in. So rather than having to go through Swagger each time, you bring them across the post 
postman save them in a collection so you've got the ones that you're interested in to hand. Now the downside to this is that the access token is only valid for two hours so every time after that two hour period you'd have to go and get another access token and manually copy it across. But there is a way of automating this by using postman and refresh tokens which I'll show you in the next video. That's all for this one. Thanks for watching. My name's Joe Neville. Goodbye.